Hey everybody, this is Andrew. Welcome to another KSP video. I'm um, just getting rid of our some of our debris uh, scattered around the planet Kerbin. And uh, looks like I got 40 science here. So that's pretty cool. Let's just keep going and see if we get any more. I'd love to get some more surprise science. Why did that happen? <laughs> okay. I, I don't know what happened there. I don't think I clicked uh, to that. But, mm, okay, maybe I did. Let's go to debris. Let's keep going. Nope. Don't want any of that. Any of that crap. Various. What the heck? Uh. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm moving over the surface. I doubt it. Okay. That was weird, too. Let's just keep going with our debris. More debris. A couple more here. And all that good crap. Alrighty. Um, let's take a look at our science situation. You have 820 science. It's pretty good. What should we grab today? Uh, well, it would be useful to have the thermometer and maybe have a shot at getting the barometer too. So let's, let's see what else we have first. Stabilizer, cockpit, more fins, drone parts, other things we don't need yet. Mm, some of that would be kind of useful, but not that useful. So let's go for this. Can we get this too? We can. How about this? No more science parts there. Hmm. Uh, nah. We don't need any of that that badly yet. I guess bigger batteries might be handy, but not really. Let's go ahead and grab that one so we get the big tanks. And uh, the Poodle engine, also pretty useful. Hmm. Could also get the skippers, then we'd really be rocking pretty nicely. Alright, let's do that. And, uh... Looks like, uh... We're sort of slowly getting towards the nukes, which we need pretty badly. More than we need almost any of the rest of the stuff. Let's go ahead and pick up that guy, and that guy, and okay. Alright, so what should we do today? Well, I think we have um, plenty, plenty of materials-based science that can be done. Um, so maybe we should look into that. Still only have the tricoupler, so what we can probably do is so let's do one, two, three, and stack another three on top. Um, let's get a couple of these guys going. Actually, let's first put on, let's finish building our craft a little bit here first. Okay. That's much too big. We really want these guys. And now let's do. I don't know what we're doing with this yet, so just. We're just sort of uh, brainstorming for right now. That 
looks pretty good. Let's just see what that looks like. It's pretty stable. I don't know what we're going to do with it, but we shall see, we shall see. Now let's take a couple of these, throw them out there like that. Let's do our whole uh, parachute assembly system like we usually do. got a little off somehow. Hmm. Oh, because it's on. There we go. Okay, now in addition, let's put mm, just to be on the safe side, let's do let's do a buttload of them. All at a thousand. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of building off stream here and come back with something a little bit more fleshed out. See you in a bit. Alrighty, so we have created this monstrosity. Now we're gonna see if it flies. This is pretty much just like a test. Um, let's make an abort sequence real quick first. Let's deploy all the shoots. And that one. Um, anything else we want to do? Put down the landing legs, I guess. Lower legs. Okay. So that'll be our abort stage, just in case things go horribly wrong. Um, so yeah, standard uh, asparagus staging with the, our shiny new skipper engines and some SRBs strapped on for good measure. Let's see how she flies. Kind of don't think she will fly very well. Uh, the other thing I forgot was launch clamps, though. Apparently that doesn't matter. That's cool. That's a good sign. Alright, let's go. It's, we're burning. We're going in an upwardly motion. All our engines are going. Gaining speed at a comfortable rate. Which is good. Uh, we can actually probably afford to do some materials bay. Yeah, why not? Let's see. Goo? Probably not. Nope. Um, but we should have a thermometer on here somewhere. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just send that off because we don't really care minor amount of science. Supplementary science. Okay, so now our SRVs are done. Uh, looks like we're losing speed, which is not a good thing. Hmm. That's not a good thing. Well, that means we need a little bit more oomph. Hmm, how can we achieve that? Maybe we can get some more SRVs onto the side of it. <laughs> Just to give us some more forward momentum. Okay, so now we're going back up. Mm, okay, no we're not. Looks like we're not going to go back up at all. Quite a while. Come on, start climbing. Okay, now we're climbing again. That's pretty darn inefficient. I don't like it. Okay. 
Ooh, we stayed strong. That's bad. Okay, time to abort. Oh, and we can decouple. That usually helps, too. Let's see how this guy flies. Well, looks like our parachutes work okay. Maybe. We're still kind of falling at a rather alarming rate. Well, there's like plenty of parachutes, though. I have to imagine that we're probably good. Oop. That might have just been the time acceleration acting up. So we'll just... Yeah. Hmm... I think that was probably just caused by the time acceleration stuff being kind of funky. Um, let's hope so anyway. So I can't possibly stick any more parachutes on this thing. I can try, I guess. I don't really want to. Oh, man. Well, I don't want to wait all this time, but, uh... Okay, I'll cut. Alright, I had to record this, because this is so cool. It landed exactly on top of itself. And I don't know why the parachutes are all still inflated like this, but it landed perfectly. I guess it makes sense it didn't turn or anything, but um, still looks kind of funny. Alright, I'm going to do some quick redesigns and adjustments, and we'll come back and try again. Okay, I think we're ready to try this again. Got more boosters for more fun. And uh, added more fuel to the center stack. Um, we'll see how this does. Again, this is all just kind of, like, testing, kind of fooling around a little bit. Not trying to seriously, uh, accomplish anything, necessarily. Okay. Ooh, we're wobbling a little bit. That's kind of bad. And well, let's give it a shot here. Whoa! Okay, something is... Okay. Uh, that looks like an easy fix. <laughs> okay, so... You are an imposter. Go back over there. Thank you. Okay... No, the one thing I don't see is... Where's that center, uh... Yeah, the center stack has to be burning. Pretty important. Okay, let's try that again. Ooh. Okay. What, what went wrong there exactly? Hmm... Wow. Abort! <laughs> I forgot to put the decoupler on the abort stage again. Oh, jeez. And Bill survives. And let's, uh, let's science. Whoa, easy there. Seven science, woo! Three science! 1.5 science. Zero. Uh, this, I don't know why we're doing this. It shouldn't make a difference. Okay, recover. Hmm. Okay, so something is off there a little bit, I would say. But I got 14 for sort of free science. That's cool. Um, 
I'm not really sure what went wrong, so I'm going to take another little breather here, try to figure that out. Alright, we're ready to try this again. We're wobbling a little bit already, but let's give it a shot. Uh, we're spinning a little bit. Spinning's bad. But as long as we keep going up, up-ish, let's hope for the best here. Let's turn on the lights so you guys can see what's going on. Probably could have used some kind of aerodynamics on this to stop us from spinning, but seemed to be doing okay. Alright, and now we can drop those. We can start those guys up. And if we calculated correctly, those little boosters should be depleted before we have to drop the uh, the first two tanks, first two asparagus tanks. So uh, that should hopefully work out well. And we're not losing as much speed anymore as we were at this point last time. It's also good. Okay, so those are done. We'll get rid of them. We're going to lose a little bit of speed here, it looks like. Only for a few more seconds, hopefully. And... Hopefully we stayed straight this time, too. And... Okay. Go. Alright, time for me to start turning over a little bit. Now we're nice and stable. We're still losing speed. So, this is not boating well. You know, I'm used to doing some kind of similar configuration, but doing it with uh, um, the main sails works a lot better than with the skippers, apparently. Hmm. Well, this is awfully disturbing. We're not going to get very far very fast at this rate. We're already over our apo. Might as well lift ourselves back up here. Try to get at least a little bit into the atmosphere so we can do a little bit of science. Let's see if we can do any now. Yeah, a little bit. Can we do any goo here? Probably not. We're probably already... Yeah, no. I keep sort of forgetting what we haven't haven't done at this point. Well, we're sort of climbing in terms of, uh, yeah, this just didn't, we just don't have enough thrust. Our configuration is good, but we just don't have enough gas on the, on, behind it. But, let's see how far we can get here. If we can get a little bit of science out of it, that'd be good. Yeah, we're actually dropping down, not going up. That's not good. That's very annoying. Hmm. And given this design, I think our payload is just too big. This is just too ambitious of a design. We're launching quite a big tank worth of fuel there, and I think the problem is not the design of our booster. It's the design of our lander there. It's just, it's just too much for the technology we have unlocked so far. Oh, we're going back up again, so that's good. Kinda. Alright, I'm getting ready to drop these second two tanks here. Okay, see ya. Alright. Now if you could please go in an upwards direction, that'd be fantastic. Still not going up. Okay, now we're almost going up. It's not good. We're still 
we haven't gone anywhere. <sighs> can we do any more science just to scrounge? Oh, we can. Probably not. Oh, come on. What a waste. Yeah, we're still falling. <sighs> hmm. Maybe we can just take off four of these, just one row of these guys, without changing too much, and maybe that'll be enough to get our thrust to weight ratio positive again. I don't really want to do because I want to have a lot of those things but it might just not be possible well I think you guys know how this one's gonna end so I'm gonna go ahead and cut here and um, maybe get back to this episode at a later time after I pace and do some pondering about this problem we're having. Uh, see you guys later. Okay, so we were eventually able to get that craft, you know, barely out of moon orb or out of Kerbin orbit into the moon sphere of influence and then back. And then we're trying to land on the ice pole here, so just for continuity's sake, recording a little bit here so I can end this video, maybe in this video, and uh, get ready to start doing something different on the next one. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys.